What is up, my fellow Chibits? Today, I'm here to bring all of you the weekly anime review of Orange. One of my personal favorite romance series of Summer of Anime of 2016 is finally here with a new episode. So, this episode gives us clarification to kind of what happened to Kakiru. Now, I discussed this in my previous video because it was implied and it was hinted at in the first episode and the second episode. But now with this episode, we get information on what really might have happened to Kakaru. So, with the first episode, we found out that Kakaru, he died. We know he's no longer with them in the future. In the second episode, we found out that there was some form of accident that caused Kakaru to die. For instance, it could have been avoided. However, he died that they could have changed something to where he didn't have to die. And they said, accident. And with this episode, we get clarification that Kakaru, the way he died, might have been something along the lines of a suicide. Because in the time capsule that our characters opened up 10 years in the future, when they were reading everything, eventually they got to Kakaru's letter he left in the time capsule. When they started reading it, Kakaru was talking to everyone. He was talking to all of his friends at that time and just saying like how they might be 10 years into the future and it's like, you know, my honest thoughts on all of you guys. But he didn't talk about himself at all. He acted like he didn't even exist, like he didn't want to even say anything to himself. And the way that was implied was saying that Kakaru realized he had no future. He had nothing to look forward to. He knew he would not be around. So this episode implies that Kakaru knew he was going to die, and that so-called accident that happened was most likely a suicide, and he wanted to die. So we have a tragedy here. We have to have it to where Kakaru needs to find the reason to live, and I feel like that's kind of what the main route of the series is going to be about, trying to make it to where Kakaru actually has happiness in his life, to where he can find a future he wants to live, and that's what we see building up in this episode. So, besides that, however, we have some drama going on, uh, like romantic drama going on, with how Kakaru, he goes out with a new girl, or this girl that confesses to him, is like, hey, I really like you and all that, I want to go out with you, and Kakaru accepts accepts it. But one of the things here going on in this episode that really has me interested, before he accepted the proposal to be this girl's boyfriend, he asked our main female character, like, hey, do you want me to go out with her? Like, do you think I should go out with her? And he did a very secretive message. Like, this message that he left inside of the eraser was something that normally people would not find. I mean, let's just face the cold hard facts here, okay? The question he left was something that normally people would not actually look for. And as we found out through the letter, it was thanks to a very long time later that she eventually found out about the little message that Kakadu left her, and she was able to realize the true feelings he had at that moment. So the main thing was here is that Kakadu, he left that there at a very hard location to find. Usually you wouldn't find it until a long time after. Why would he do that? Like, why would he leave a message like that to where normally people wouldn't think to check? I mean, look, if she didn't get told by her future self that there was a message there, she probably wouldn't have checked for a very long time. Could have been months it could have even been years it doesn't know until like the eraser was worn down maybe eventually she could have found it and it, there even is a possibility that she could have lost the eraser because that does happen people lose pencils erasers and stuff in school that happened to me quite a bit so i mean that was also a possibility so why would cockerdew put a message like that to when it could easily just end up disappearing and you wouldn't be able to ever find it in your life so that is a question we need to all be asking after watching this episode but after that though for cockerdew to even ask that we know that he must have mixed feelings. It, it really seems like he does have some form of feelings for a main female character, and he does care for her in some way for him to actually give her a message like that. Maybe he didn't expect a message from her. Maybe he was just didn't want to force her to try to like him or anything. But whatever the case may be, something is going on there, and there is some drama building up. Now, we do know that since she did get to see the message, and we don't have to go through uh, her never finding the message, she got the message, she gave her a reply, but Kind of sadly, the reply she gave was a lot later than what it needed to be. And he didn't actually get her message until after he already accepted the girl's proposal to be her boyfriend. So, he's now going out with a girl, and the question he asked actually got an answer, and it was a no. So I wonder how the drama is going to unfold from this point onward. Like, is he going to continue going out with this girl? Or is he going to, like, break up with her maybe in a couple episodes? I'm just very curious where that's going to go. And I wonder if this girl has anything to do with Kakadu wanting to maybe attempt suicide. There's a possibility. Something caused him to want to die. Now, I mean, we know about his mother. We know what happened to his mother because of last week's episode, which was very tragic. And now, seeing this, it might have something either to do with his mother 
or there's something else going on. Someone in his life is going to enter his life and probably take him down the wrong path to where he shouldn't go down that route. Something like that most likely will happen. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. How do you feel about this week's episode of Orange? Did you enjoy it? Did you hate it? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Please be safe. Chibi out.